Good morning. Welcome to God Time. Whenever we go through hard times, we think, why in the world is this happening? We want to find answers. Well, we're looking at the character of Job. And I want us to go toward a passage of scripture um, that tells us about toward the end of Job's ordeal. Job 23, 1 through 17. Listen to this and see if you've went through some hard stuff, or maybe you're in the middle of it, and this might not be a word for you today. Then Job spoke again. My complaint today is still bitter one, and I try hard not to groan aloud. Anybody ever been there? Verse 3, if I only knew where to find God, I would go to his court. I would lay out my case and present my arguments. Then I would listen to his reply and understand what he says to me. Would he use his great power to argue with me? No, he'd give a fair hearing. Honest people can reason with him. So I would be forever acquitted by my judge. I go east, but he's not there. I go west, but I cannot find him. I do not see him in the north, for he's hidden. I look to the south, but he is concealed. But he knows where I'm going. And when he tests me, I will come out as pure as gold. For I have stayed on God's paths. I have followed his ways and not turned aside. I have not departed from his commands, but have treasured his words more than daily food. But once he made his decision, who can change his mind? Whatever he wants to do, he does. So he will do to me whatever he has planned. He controls my destiny. No wonder I am so terrified in his presence. When I think of it, terror grips me. God has made me sick at heart. The Almighty has terrified me. Darkness is all around me. Thick, impenetrable darkness is everywhere. Back when Job's body was covered with sores, when his friends were still against him, when he was bankrupt and sitting in a garbage dump at the outskirts of the city, Job had the temerity to say this. Look at this in Job 23.10. But he knows where I'm going, and when he tests me, I will come out as pure gold. Isn't that incredible? In, in Chuck Swindoll's incredible devotional, uh, Great Lives for Great Days, or Great Days for Great Lives, um, he does a good job just breaking this down. But think about that. Whenever here was Job, bankrupt, his friends were in his ear. Everybody had torn their back on him. His body was broken down with sores. Uh, Satan was allowed to harm him physically. And he was sitting in a garbage dump. That's where he was living, on the outside of the city. Job said, but he knows where I am going. And when he tests me, I will come out as pure gold. Well, Job makes three statements based on faith in the midst of his suffering. All three are about his God. Look at the first one that he says. I know that God knows my situation. He says he knows where I'm going. Some of you today need to hear that. You think that you're in this all alone, that God doesn't know where you are. No, he knows where I'm going. God knows exactly where you are. God knows exactly your situation. He knows the number of the hairs on your head. He is concerned about you. He knows where you're going. Second, Job says, I believe it is God who is testing me. I believe it is God who is testing me. When he tests me, listen, you say, what do you mean test you? Testing is different than tempting right? Tempting is tempting you to do something against God. A test is something that raises your faith in God, that you trust God despite the circumstances, right? The third thing he says, I believe that after the trials have ended, he will bless me in a unique way. Oh, he, he believed. He believed that that he was going to be shown as pure gold, right? He doesn't deny the trials, but there's hope beyond them. God knows. God will reward. That's what we find when we get to the last chapter of Job's life. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great 
if we could be in Job's position at the end of the book without having to go through what he did through the book, how good would it be to gain all that knowledge without suffering? Impossible. Stay realistic and understand that doesn't happen. It takes fire to refine gold. And do you know how they purify gold? That goldsmith. That goldsmith will take a cauldron and it'll have gold in it. He'll melt it down. And that fire will heat up and he'll take all the dross, that impurity that floats to the top. He'll take a tool and he'll skim it off the top and move it to the side. And then he'll heat it up again, and the impurities will rise to the top, and he'll skim it off again. And he'll do that over and over and over again. Do you know how when that goldsmith knows that the gold is refined? Whenever the goldsmith can see his own reflection in the gold. Oh, listen, it takes fire to refine gold. God's goal for you is something more than what you are today. He wants to make you into the image of Jesus Christ. Jesus wants to take it to where all the impurities of your life are removed so that whenever he looks in your life, he sees a reflection of himself. Listen, as Swindoll says, just as we are different in our appearance, our background, our levels of maturity, our chronological age, so we experience different tests. For all you know, someone living in your neighborhood is going through one of the deepest times of his or her life. Somebody that sits next to you in church is going through their darkest days. I hope these two words don't seem hollow or pious, but I'm going to say them anyway. Take hope. Take hope. Take hope that this is not going on without God's awareness. The Lord knows the way you take and it's not without purpose. After the fiery trial, you too will come forth as gold. You're being refined by the test he's allowed, and you're being reshaped by the process, purified and humbled. Better times are coming. If not soon, and if not later, on this earth, they will surely come when you stand before him. And he distributes, the as, as 1 Corinthians 3.12 says, the gold, the silver, and the precious stones. It will then be worth it all. Many of Job's rewards came while he was still alive on planet Earth. Yours may await you in glory. Either way, God knows. God always remembers. And God will reward. My prayer for you today is that regardless of what you are going through, what you will be going through, or what you have gone through, that you would allow this to be a purification process to refine you like pure gold. Let me pray for you today. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, I pray, asking you to not waste any of our hurts, that we would be wise enough to realize, Lord, that you can take pain and hurt and have it refine us, purify us. And Lord, I know in my life in the past, that's been a time of discipline and that no discipline seems pleasant at the time, but difficult. But that that discipline will bear a work of righteousness if we will bear up under it. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the promise that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's in his name that I pray. Amen. So today, love God, love others, and by all means, go be salt and light. Have an incredible day.